Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Lazy Lab. Today we are going to make you a nice video footage uh, showing abilities of 5.6 watt diode solid state laser. Okay, let's start a software. It's uh, called CNCC LaserX. Okay, we'll run it. Uh, so it's it's pretty easy software to uh, run. It doesn't require installation. Sometimes it requires a driver but uh, it's not a big deal we have it's in our download center just visit our website endurancerobots.com and then you can go to uh, lasers and then download center okay let's connect uh, with our diy engraving machine and let's open a file uh, we'll do a laser cut of nice heart so this is our heart and now we're going to process it it outlines uh, the image uh, will change the size of it just to make sure that we can do it quickly okay so this is the size of our heart now we will change a speed of engraving uh, okay uh, let's change a parameter so we are going to share with you a parameters of this uh, it's 3000 speed is 3000 and now we generate the code so uh, Okay, we see uh, we see it's not a perfect. Now we'll change it to a smaller size. Okay, the size is a bit different. Yeah, okay, we'll put it here, 15 millimeters. Okay, now it's, uh, yeah, we speed is 3000 and we create a G-code. Okay, let's start. Yeah, you can see a G-code, now it's okay. And we'll make 10 repeats, so it means that the process will repeat for 10 times. Okay, and let's, let, not, not let's run it, but uh, we'll put it uh, on top of uh, our here. You see that we're completely in focus. And uh, this is our piece of two millimeters uh, plywood. And let's start. So uh, it'll take approximately about a minute or so um, to do a laser cutting. So uh, once again, I want to highlight parameters. The speed is 3000 and 10 times repeats for uh, two millimeters of plywood. Uh, it'll take about a minute or so. Uh, we already did this. So as you can see uh, on this uh, we already made some some engraving, uh, some laser cuttings. And the maximum you can do is like eight millimeters, and you see it's also done um, in acrylic, right? So before that, uh, we did some tests. I'll tell you later about these tests uh, that they were not also perfect. Uh, we have about two repeats after all, and we'll show you the result. Okay, the one, two more left. You can see that it goes pretty, pretty good. Okay, and uh, yeah, okay, it's done. Let's show you the result of this. Okay, we'll just remove it. You can see it goes really without a problem. Okay, so two millimeters of uh, plywood is done. Let's make a demo. Uh, on three millimeters of plywood. Okay, you can see it here. Okay, and we'll change parameters. Parameters will be 8,000 and uh, amount of repeats is about 30. It takes about four minutes and you can see this uh, button. I'll tell you what's button is about. Uh, the checkbox actually. Okay, and put 30 repeats. So uh, now we run. Okay, we put uh, on top. Okay, you see the center. Okay, let's let's move it over here. Okay, let's start. So it takes about four minutes, thirty seconds for laser cutting. So uh, okay, once again, um, here is some examples. As you can see, while the laser is working, I'm going to explain you about nuances. So the thing is that you need to find out the correct speed and correct amount of repeats to make sure that you do not burn a piece of plywood. As you can see, we made a lot of experiments before, and this is two millimeters. Uh, you see, it's it's not perfect. 
but to make sure that we can get perfect result we need to to set up correct speed and amount of repeats it's also valid for 5.6 watt diode laser made by endurance uh, another good thing that we use a standard standard lens uh, it's long focal lens and uh, the maximum uh, range between the piece and the laser could be up to 10 centimeters so when you get or run this machine make sure that your focal range from lens to piece of plywood or piece of uh, wood anything you are going to cut is not more than 10 centimeters it's about four inch because this lens cannot uh, allow you to focus it if uh, the range is more so this is a uh, standard lens and uh, we're also going to make another video footage uh, demonstrating how you run um, laser cutting using G2 lens. Uh, the focal le uh, length for that lens is about 4 millimeters, that is 0.2 uh, inch or about that and a uh, little bit different parameter. Uh, as you can see we use a standard electronics um, from laser x we do not change anything so it's pretty good electronic components and we had a have third wire that is connecting our laser uh, with electronics you can also do without it but uh, um, you can it's better to have it with it so what about the button uh, i showed you before so that button you need to uh, set up to make sure that the speed of uh, X and Y uh, coordinates are still the same. So if you do not activate that button, then the speed for a laser engraving machine would be different. So it won't allow you to cut. So some, uh, I mean, X speed would be one and uh, Y speed would be different. So it won't uh, make you solid, solid laser cutting. So it's very, very important to click on that button. So, and like I said, all parameters, uh, like we tried here, they all like all experimented. So you need to make sure that uh, every time, all the time you, you find out correct parameters and okay we're almost done just about uh, several seconds like i said it's about four minutes to cut for um, this size of heart okay i think it's ready let's uh, remove it okay as you can see it's very 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 accurate it didn't burn you can also clean it up and polish okay it's ready okay and let's do four millimeters of plywood so for four millimeters we already made some tests so this is four millimeter uh, plywood okay the parameters for it will be 500 500 it's very important because it's it's a correct parameter so it's like 16 times less speed and uh cycle time is about 30. okay let's put it on top and I'm also going to entertain you a little bit and tell more about laser so you can see that we're in completely in focus yeah like I said the uh, width of these plywoods is a bit different but still we consider that it's in focus okay and let's start it it'll take about four minutes actually it's a bit strange because it's it should be 16 times uh, slower but um, yeah Chinese guys they have some strange parameters for speed and life cycle uh, so it's not actually linear It'll take about four minutes yeah so like I said before to make sure that you have accurate uh, laser cutting you have to try it before so our parameters that we suggest is like indicative so they they might be not good for you and for your CNC machine or for your uh, laser but if you take if you buy 5.6 watt diode laser from endurance these parameters are pretty solid and uh, we did these measurements for a couple of days just to help you guys uh, not to spend a lot of time uh, finding out parameters 
So, uh, yeah, we also have 8 watt lasers that is more and more powerful. And in the next video, we plan to share with you uh, our experience with laser cutting using G2 lens. Um, it's, a, it's a bit more expensive uh, lens, but it gives you more abilities and better speed for laser cutting. So good thing about this lens that you can also use it for laser engraving and laser cutting. Okay, so you see it here. This big fan installed here and we still do. So an another good thing uh, that um, I wanted to tell you that as you can see on, on some play in some places uh, plywood burned a little bit. It happened because the speed of engraving was not good enough. So when you do engraving you have to make sure that it won't burn uh, your piece of plywood. It happens when the speed is too small or power is too high. So for laser cutting we use maximum power because we don't want to waste time and the perimeter that we only change is speed and cycle time. Okay, it's almost burned as you can see uh, on piece of uh, metal. You can see it through but still we want to make sure that uh, it's perfect. So probably 25 repeats would be also enough, but we want, we don't want to risk, we just want to make sure that uh, it will be perfectly laser cut it. Okay, it's almost there. Probably another several repeats. And we'll be ready. Two more repeats. So bigger uh, image you have, just more time. Of course it's not compatible with CO2 lasers, that's for sure, because completely different power, but for portable device like this it's, it's good enough. Okay, let's show you the result. As you can see, bingo! Yeah. Just takes a little bit of time to extract it. Okay, okay, so you can see it over here, so it's perfect, right? Yeah, so guys, hope that you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe on our channel and have a wonderful laser cutting with endurance. Have a nice day, bye-bye.